Hey guys, um, what we got here is a couple of, I'm just going to do no. the two acoustic electric guitars I got recently from Musician's Friend. This is the, this is the Ibanez um, acoustic electric bass and I have to be honest with you, this right now is my favorite, I mean literally this is my favorite guitar to pick up out of all the guitars that I have. I, it has an amazing, uh, I mean it's just a really cool looking, you know it's got the vintage sunburst, it's got the old style. You know, you got the old style acoustic bridge with the bridge pins. Uh, nice mahogany sides. Binding. This is uh, the AEB 20E. AEB 20V. You can see it's got, uh, and it's got the glued in neck. And even got a nice strip of binding here on the back. The neck is just, it, it's C-shaped and it's really comfortable. I, I just love, I love how this neck feels. I, I love especially the width at the nut. Uh, you got the matching headstock. You've got nice, uh, nice tuners. And this is, um, this right here is the EQ section along with the uh, built-in tuner. So you have uh, bass, treble, volume, okay? And there's the 9-volt battery, which is in a good spot. The, uh, the output jack is... Yeah, that's a damn good question. Where the hell is it? It's usually... Oh, here it is. Look at this. Just don't mind me. I'm going goofy today. You've got XLR out, which is a balanced output if you want to run it direct to the, to the PA. And you also have your unbalanced uh, quarter inch out to go to an amplifier or to an effects unit or something like that. Um, it, it comes with the it comes with the factory you know bronze strings, bass strings. Uh, the neck when I when I got this one when it, when I received it what I did was and I do this for a lot of my guitars when I get them like this I I let them the, the all the boxing I keep it boxed and I keep it in the house and I let it get acclimated or climatized or whatever you want to call it and I let the box sit um, you know after UPS delivers it and then I'll pull the inner box out that this is boxed in same thing I'll let the inner box sit for a couple of hours and then um, I'll go ahead and open that inner box, take off the, the protective covering. They, they use like a styrofoam sheet. And then I let, the, uh, I let the guitar breathe a little bit and adjust to the climate here in the house. So I did all that, uh, checked the neck, and she came with just the slightest amount of back bow and after letting her uh, sit for a couple of days uh, it seems to me as though the neck has kind of come back uh, to being where it should be which should be you know almost flat I'm probably going to end up putting a little bit of relief in this neck you know because there are a couple of places where it you know
Maybe the action might be a little on the low side. I haven't checked the intonation. And I know that the microphone in this camcorder is not going to do it justice. I Right now, I'm not set up with the studio yet to run the all the recording mics and all that crap. So I just wanted to make this video. This is a, an Ibanez acoustic electric bass. It's the AEB20E and I paid 400 and I am going to tell you that this is a hell of a value. I mean You've got this, you know, simulated rosette here around the uh, sound hole. And you have this binding and they carry the binding along the edge of the fretboard, which is nice. Couple of sharp, you know, there's a couple of sharp fret ends that I have to dress. Um... Nut looks like it's okay. You know, it's a nylon nut. You know, I, I gotta go in and do my thing. You know, I gotta put in some nut sauce, some lubricant, and, um, you know, do my things to it. Oil up the fretboard a little bit. You know, take, you know, level these down. Maybe take them down a little bit. I mean, look, it, it's made, you know, it's made in Malaysia or China or so, yeah, made in China. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. You know, it's 400 bucks. But I gotta be honest with you. To me, it feels like a little bit more than what I paid for. And, and that's all I always try to do. I always try to get something that... Something that feels like it's worth more than I paid. And you can see you got a little bit of little buzzing going on here on the low E string. Now there are some sweet spots like like you play up this uh, up here. And it just really resonates through the body. I mean, you can actually feel it up against your chest. Great, great bass. I mean, if you want to sit on the porch and throw down some acoustic bass with an acoustic guitar and a banjo and a mandolin and all that stuff, you can't go wrong with one of these. So this is the Ibanez. AEB20E Acoustic Electric Bass Guitar from Musician's Friend and I think I paid about 400 bucks for this and I'll be honest with you the way the guitar looks the way it feels I love I love how big and thick the body is I mean you know I, I mean I've got gorilla hands so this this is like right up my pipe um, your, your neck, you know, you can see, you know, compared to my hand, you know, it's not, you know, it's not like a jazz bass neck. It, it, it feels more, um, you know, more massive than a P or a jazz bass neck. So, you know, it feels like an acoustic it's got that feel like it's flat and it, and it, and it's, it feels good. I'm going to probably take down some of this finish right here with a little bit of um, 400, 600, 800, whatever, and just take that and smooth it off a little bit because in the summertime that can get really gummy. So there it is, 400 hours, musician's friend. This is the... Ibanez acoustic electric bass. You've got the um, you got the Fishman. You got a Fishman transducer built into the body, and you've got the electronics here as well. So you can control your volume, bass, treble, and it's got the built-in tuner. 
and we'll just go ahead and real quick take her up there we go so great base I love it a lot this is like my new favorite go-to base so thanks for watching and uh, next up we'll look at an acoustic guitar which was the stupid deal of the day I'll talk to you later